Hey guys, Tartrip here, bringing you some more Warcraft 3 action. I'm today spawning in the north way of Soen with the Playmaster playing as Orc. Posing him, we have Light as Night Elf going for a Keeper of the Grove. A player's forces are under attack. Map is to the rock in this one from the Pro Iron Pro Cup monthly season two monthly four, I think something like that. Real mouthful of a tournament structure. But looking forward to seeing what these guys are up to. You can see the uh, tournament's kind of logo over here. Or sponsor's logo, I'm not entirely sure. Trent's walking their way across. Both players going for some of these relatively easy camps to get things started. Maybe a slight mistake there from Lord Light. Could have drawn this attack damage onto the trench that were about to expire. Might have given him some more momentum if he wanted to go for one more camp. We'll creep this out a tiny bit faster with the second tree into life. Just a little detail though. Ticking underway. Big lead for Lord Light. For someone rather on the ticking front. Like getting the further burrows out. So are under not attack. able to do too much, but finds a Archer here. Tries to use the hide. Force the dust out at least, but Archer picked off. And it's gonna be some huntresses now. Just a single engine of war though. All right, heading up to maybe do some harass. A player's forces are scout under peon out here. I think he's checking for a tower, but look at this. Force of nature's to open up the trees. Build a tower in the tree line. So the scout peon was a good idea from Soen, but. He does not get the result he was hoping for. Didn't get to see if any towers were coming up. Because there's one hidden right around the corner. Bashing away at the shop first. Does still have a couple salves remaining. Ring plus four. There's the item. Make that blade master quite a beefcake. The has been rebuilt and we've got a war mill coming in out the back. Ultra under some pressure. One burrow able to launch a few spears, but... Looks like Ultra's going to be uh, going down here, perhaps. Blade Master unconcerned. Continuing to creep. Interesting. And yeah, this is dead. Oh, Shadow Hunter. Gonna work on the barracks next. He's building a demolisher. And here we go. The ancient protector now walking its way, eating its way through the tree line. Marching into position. A tower push coming in. The player's forces are under attack. Uprooted the Ancient of War though, so is this gonna be the number of huntresses he's rolling with going forwards? I kill off the barracks, but the peons coming in here for some repairs now. Blade Master chasing down the keeper who's on the run. Level 3 blade. Quite powerful. And there is the demolisher. And the burrow making life difficult for the huntresses. Still has a little bit of regen from eating those trees earlier, but it looks like that's worn off now, so the demolisher will make short work of the AP. He uproots. I'm making his way back to the tree line for another meal. But I'm uh, not going to work out. AP is going to go down. In fact, denied by Lord Light. And now Lord Light going for a kill on the Grunt. And I don't think that one got denied. Chasing down the hunt. Picks that off. Pretty effective diffuser of the pressure by Soen. Of course, the second hero is going to be coming in very late. Are under attack. Rebuild the altar in the back, building the Shadow Hunter now. 
We got double wins, tier three tech for Law Light, as well as a Demon Hunter second. Plenty of juice in these moon rolls. In fact, this one, ah, oh, this one's fully juiced up. And he regen from the other two that weren't. Slight mistake. Cost himself a little bit of mana there. Blade Master keeping track here. Players Two rings plus four, attack. by the way. So it's going to be very hard to harass the Blade Master away from this creep jacking position. It's not going to be taking very much damage. He doesn't have enough mana to go for another wind walk. And we've got the Demon Hunter here as well. Not able to steal any experience, just keeping tabs. And look at this. Triple Serpent Ward. He's going for the red camp. This is a very aggressive creeping pattern from Soen. And it looks like he wants to put down an expansion too. He starts up a burrow. Just two grunts over here. This is going to be a tough one. He's the Blade Master coming back to assist. And the grunt's getting very low. Now salving up, bringing across three peons, so he really wants to make this expansion stick. Nine horn of Stormwind. A player's forces are under attack. Reasonable. He's got some shaman coming through now as well. So it's going to be the light taking the shock camp, getting that all important watch reward. The uh, big healing potion from the turtle camp that he just crept out with the Ancient of War. So we're now going to the same camp. And all right, looking for some harass. Big involve potion. Gives that to the Blade Master. And looking to attack. Sean's so pulling back. He's got a burrow completed and uh, just about a tower as well. So, looking to make his stand in a nice protected positioning. Doesn't look like these huntresses have got any sentries. So, just got the one dust charge on the keeper to reveal the blade master. So, uh, looking promising for this expansion. Got an expansion coming up from Law Light though in return. Look at this demolisher demolishing its way through the, the tree line. Maybe trying to open attack. up a bit of a shortcut now. It's an interesting idea. Don't often, you know, have a spear demolisher this time, but he's looking to make the most of it. it shows real uh it's just impressive thinking, you know. <laughs> It's got, it's got some spare brain power. First Ogre Lord is going to go to Law Light though. This is where you can get the really good items. Pops the dust so it doesn't get stolen. Hood of Cunning. Pretty good item for the Demon Hunter. Well, the uh, safe turtle camp for someone. across the rest of his peons now that the expo is complete. A player's forces are under attack. I thought that the, those turtle camps gave a better item than a circle of nobility. I wonder if they got nerfed at some stage. Okay, Blade Master has scouted out the expansion. Looks like Soen wants to sneak around and go for the red camp himself. Of course, you can get that rune of healing, so even though he's got a couple of low health units here, as long as you can avoid them taking much damage during the fight, you should be able to heal them up. But uh looks like a little light. 
had a similar idea coming in here. Oh boy, he left the item on the ground. And the Shadow Hunter couldn't get in there, was he entangled? I didn't see the entangle on him. So it's another hood of cunning. This one's going to be uh, transferred over to Demon Hunter as well. Look at that. That's 21 damage now on that DH. He's a menace. He didn't have the inventory space on the Blade Master to pick it up, so yeah. Oh, that's painful for someone. At least he got most of the experience. You know, kind of half the experience, I guess, of the camp. It just been a town portal as well, so it's going to burn through a bit of his extra gold from the expansion. He has a... The player's forces are under attack. Maybe about a 800 gold lead-ish. Getting this expansion up earlier. A town is under siege. Both players looking to do a bit of creeping here. The Blade Master scouts out this position. Maybe going to look for the creep jack on this final camp. Unusual for Little Light to morph into crow form here. Not sure what that's about. Oh boy, look at that. A crow form surround onto the Shadow Hunter. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, <laughs> hadn't seen that one before. But it's a good move. He morphs into crow form and back down to druid form to get rid of the lightning shield. It was a you know, pretty good lightning shield. Got these units very low in health. Second expansion from Lord Light, but uh, looks like someone's probably going to spot that. Oh, I really hope he does. Our player's forces are under attack. Oh my god. Well, this is what Night Elf can do to you. Expansions everywhere. And they're kind of hard to get to on Turtle Rock. Let's spread out some of the two Twisted Meadows. But finds this one. I'm going to chop that down fast. No cancel from Law Light though. Okay, late cancel. It'll cost him a good chunk of his resources cancelling like that. But yeah, I remember the first time I saw somebody like morph into. When in this case it was with bears. Morphing into druid form and back to bear form to remove slow it was. I had my mind blown by that. Mass Raiders in here, smashing away at the tree. And they get their job done, even with all of that cyclone. And all of those repairs. Well timed attack there by Soen, just enough to get the job done. But now he's in some trouble, we've got a Chimera. And uh, he's trying to fight this one at this stage. It's another town portal out now. The traits were overall not too bad though for Soen. In terms of corpses, it was pretty similar between the two players. Got out of there with a few low health units. Kills off the last of his huntresses there, Law Light. Bring up some popcorn perhaps. Okay, kills his demolisher, Soen. <laughs> Both players clearing up some room. Got 1-1 one, one upgrades. Uh, Chimera, 1 armor upgrade so far. So maybe expecting some bat riders to counter this. And uh, we do have one in progress. Another expansion in this corner. It's completed. Blade Master finds the wisps trying to come across here. When walks... Watch Award is Law Light, so he's got to be careful with the Blade Master. He's not safe close to that shot. Two towers up here. Chimera do not have their siege attack yet. Has not gone for that upgrade. So not going to be very good at pushing the towers without that. Those Hawk Towers have quite long range as well. Under attack. 
that's above the tree line. Makes it a pretty good map for bat riders. Here we go. Takes three bats though to kill one Chimera thanks to that armor upgrade. There it is. Trying to kill out the other one, but they're not very good. Siege damage against light armor. Oh, impressive. And while the towers seem to be attacking the Demon Hunter largely, and he's got you know, a lot of durability. There we go. Also, the town portal on the keeper with the focus fire. Knocks out a few units on the exit. Yeah, there's the dust seed or so in there. Seven food up. A little light. Restart in production though to boost his way back in. He's got a second chim roost down now. Town portaling back in. Here come the repairs. For the raiders. They've got enough to get this job done. Gonna lose a few raiders here on the exit though, quite painful. I think that's three down already, one more up in the air could also fall. There's a, some very high level heroes for Lord Light. He's kind of inching his way towards six with the keeper. There's the entangle. I hope for that raiders escape. And now both players are kind of similar on food counts again. At least though. Well, Solon's got to be happy. Killed off the uh, expansions. Laid the foundation for his own expansion. And it's repairing this tower back up. And this is going to be the battlefront yet again. Dispel this time. We're removing quite a few of the treants. We have a pretty high level Thorns Aura though. Make it quite painful for the Blade Master and the Raiders. Towers focusing down the talents. Town portal out. Demon Hunter's getting a little bit low. Good defense there from Solon. And now he's pushing into upkeep. Expecting another expansion in this corner, and he's uh, right to think that. Or is he not? He's not going to the shop. Oh no. Yes. Okay, a raider's coming down here. It's going to scout it. There's another one over here from Lawlight. Just whack-a-mole for these expansions right now. Finds the wisps. Knocks all of those out. And I'm going to go for this expansion. But is he going to overlook seat. this one now? Very hard to keep pace with this mass expansion style. Especially without the Torn Chieftain, you know, giving the Endurance or helping speed up the Orc Army to traverse the map. wonder if someone would try, like a, a Tier 3 try hero, or maybe it's too late with no creeps on the map to level them up. Two armor upgrades now for the Chimera. We've got a few more bats coming in, but the more armor upgrades they get, the less effective that will become those bats might need to think of an alternative path to countering the chimps cancel that tower but yeah got that expansion up and running so a little light big resource advantage got so trying to make his own second expansion Main gold mines very close to expiring for both players. More talents coming in, more chimera coming in. A town is under siege. Nice that expansion cancels it, but from how it feels, maybe someone's not going to expect Lord Light to have another expansion down here. He's going to make sure though. He's going to go down and check it. And a little light predicting that movement. Going down. Looks like the bats do not have the oil upgrade. Liquid fire, is that what it's called? Oh, but he just got the expansion killed. And the Chimera, thanks to that second armor upgrade, did survive. Oh, but it didn't survive because of the ward. The serpent ward killed it off. It had 18 HP left. 
the surfing ward left behind finishes the job. Okay. Wow, that was really close. That expansion nearly survived. Could morph into crow form. Not sure. It, yeah. Should we fire reveal in the best position? So the siege upgrade now. Corrosive breath, I think it's called. Takes down that tower nice and clean. It's got uh, 850 range, so 50 range more than the tower. The surfing ward, though, is another layer of defense. Sharanta completely out of mana now, though. Doesn't have a shop over here either. Does have a shop back here. Maybe the Blade Master could find an opportunity to run back and pick up some consumables. Talon there, and it looks like it's going to be a bit of a base trait. A town is under siege. It's a good number of chimps together with the siege damage. Are under attack. Going for a bit of a mutually assured destruction here. Not enough damage to knock out the main base. Mass bats in, but Chimera resilient with those armor upgrades. One of them goes down now. Surfing Ward's focusing them. Let's knock out one expansion. There goes another bat. All the Chimera are now dead. The Talon's trying to escape, repositioning slightly for the Raiders and a hot pursuit with the Ensnares. Serpent Wards spreading out the big time damage. The Keeper's in some trouble. Big heal transfers. But that's it. He doesn't have a Town Portal, an Invol, or anything. But he levels up. He's going to get his ultimate. Oh, but it gets interrupted and he goes down. Blade Master level 6 now. What about this Demon Hunter though? He's getting kind of close to 6. Superman could turn this game around. The Blade Master is in major trouble. Brief moment of blocking. What a Shadow Hunter. Oh my god, why did he stop running? Oh, and the Blade Master goes down. Big problems for both players. Instant rebuy on the Blade for Soen. It's a very expensive purchase. Back up to 50 though, he does have the larger army sizes, but Lord Light has an expansion everywhere at the moment. Just the absolutely everywhere. Forces are under attack. So uh, he's going to be able to rebuild his army incredibly quickly. In fact, Soen might be wise to try and get another expansion going up here, the way the game's going at the moment. Running back to the shop though for some consumables. Good number of raiders. Still 1 1 upgrades. Nothing further coming through. Oh, and I didn't notice that, but yeah, Demon Hunter did hit 6. So, uh, yeah, that's really bad news for Soen. You've got to kill off like five expansions and got to deal with two level six heroes. Coming in for the kill on this one. Big round of burn on the Shadow Hunter. This time it's a bit slower with the expansion going down. They must have come back in. A lot of very low health orc units out the back. Show him to Coop Pop. Oh, yep, Mana Potion, there he goes. Serpent Ward's doing their best, but there we go. Ultimate from the Keeper now healing off all that Serpent Ward damage. Are you trying to kill the Chimera? And does do so. Those level 3 Serpent Wards are just crazy powerful. Such high piercing damage. And the options to kill it are not that good. It's kind of just up to the heroes, really. Oh, just a bit of a split attack here, trying to build some watchtowers. Chip away over here and another watchtower on this expansion. 
But it's going to get killed by these treants. Meanwhile, this expansion under pressure now. Only one tower up here. The other one does go down. The player's forces are under attack. Still has the ultimate on the demon hunter. Is under siege. I haven't seen that activated so far. Waiting for the right moment. These guys are so durable with the extra armor from Nature's Blessing. Town portaling out. Oh wow. Attack there by Soen. Could probably do with a couple heal scrolls as well, Soen. The town is under siege. Very available in the shop. Gonna knock out the tree quite quickly. New wave. Mass detonates. Gets rid of a little bit of the spirit link. A player's forces are under attack. Let me spring that damage around so much. There we go. Did slow down some of the gold harvesting though. Just to rebuild a couple peons. We've got two, four remaining in that mine. Still loads left in uh, Law Lights mines. He's going for more. Soen uh, does have uh, about a 15 food edge coming into this fight. Let's see if he can uh, make it stick. Tinker picked up for a bit of pocket factory action third. Raiders swarming in with the speed scroll, catching the Talons out the back, knocking out one of them in Snare, interrupting the healing. Raiders ready to get on top of these but, oh, really good dispel on the treants. They go down real fast. The raiders just being on top of these talents. Again and again. Here come a few more chims, though. These could turn the tide. Still haven't seen Superman yet. A little bit surprised. Thought this would be the fight for it. It's going to be a town portal out from the light. The fact that I hadn't seen it, I was like checking across over here. Like, did he even go for it but he did <laughs> thought he might accidentally like skilled into the wrong ability and he had to wait for level 7 but no not the case it's a mistake I would make need two more chimera food count's pretty similar though honestly Still only 1-1 one, one upgrades. Got three armor upgrades now on these Chimera. He's going to have four of them. You have so many Chimera so many armor upgrades. The bats are just no good anymore. It takes too many bats. Really inefficient. It's Maybe he feels he has to. Could switch over to Windriders, I guess, but... Not gonna try that. Okay, now he's going for an expansion down in this corner. Well, light still has two gold mines running. And he's mixing in a couple fairy dragons now. I think that's actually the a very good idea. Are under attack. He's also got a hippo. Maybe looking to force the action from the bats. Still only two bats, by the way. He's pumping more now, but he's... He's low on that. Oh, where were these raiders? I think they're trying to peel off, go for this expansion over here, but... No dice. And the fairy set up in a very aggressive position. Trying to nullify these spirit walkers. The Chimera making short work of that tower. We even got a Druid of the Claw in here. Master trains. And these guys are sieging down the Great Hall real fast. 
And Soen just does not have the composition right now to counter this. He's got all of these raiders, but they are useless, if I'm honest. Just for a bit of an attack on the Tinker. Kills that, but what, what, who cares? Great Hall about to fall. Interrupts the healing. The Fiend Snare, Town Portal out. As the dust settles, pretty similar food counts again, but the whole time Lola was killing off this base, this one about to run dry on gold. So Soen's really under a lot of pressure right now. He's about to be mined uh, two bases to none. So he's going to have a very difficult time rebuilding his army after that. Whereas Lola, look at that straight away, back up to 71 from 50 ish. A town is under siege. He did. When did he hit Metamorphosis? I didn't even see that in the last fight. Did he hit that accidentally after he town portaled out? I was trying to keep an eye out for it. Strange. Ring of the Ouch Magi, by the way. I don't think I hovered over this one. It's a new item. Plus three to everything. Kind of like a juiced up circlet. Okay, fighting underway. Puts the mirror images up in the air. Focusing the Kodo first to try and reduce the damage. Raiders giving out the back a bit. They are dying real fast, even with the Spirit Link spreading the damage around. The Chimera just hitting so hard. Focusing down the Keeper yet again, but transfers over a Heal Potion. Got the Tinker back in here now as well. Goes for the Shadow Hunter with the ent Entangle. And there we go. Little Light ends up winning down the stretch. Yeah, it's, it's tough. Up against the, that many Chimera in the late game, once they have the three armor upgrades, the bats, they just don't work that well anymore. That was a really good setup by Law Light. I thought he was uh, going to lose that at some stage. Seemed like someone was taking control, but someone kind of fell off with the upgrades. I wonder if he had gone to like three, three upgrades, you know, given the Raiders a bit more durability, a bit more damage, maybe uh, would have been a different story. But yeah, good efficiency from Soen. Real shame that the Blade Master died that time. You know, when he's running away from the Demon Hunter. I think he probably could have survived if he was just like really clean and just ran straight to the shop. Instead of like doubling back twice. Oh well, GG. Well played by Lord Light. Winning with the mass expansions and the Chimera. Entertaining game. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. Thanks for tuning in to some more Warcraft reaction. Until next time, goodbye and good luck.